This math knowledge practice test question for the ASVAB and PiCat says, evaluate B minus A squared minus 3C divided by A to the third power when A is negative 2, B is 3, and C is 4. So again, on the actual ASVAB and PiCat, you're not given a reference sheet or a calculator. For that reason, I recommend you get in the habit of copying things down and working them out on your own scratch paper. In this case, we're going to be evaluating this expression when a is negative 2, b is 3, and c is 4. So we're going to go ahead and plug those in respectively and then evaluate this expression according to the order of operations. This becomes uh, 3 minus negative 2 squared minus 3 times 4 all over uh, negative 2 to the third power. All right, the first thing I want to point out is that minus minus, that is 3 minus negative 2, becomes plus. And again, the order of operations are best remembered using the acronym PEMDAS or the mnemonic device. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. If you're not comfortable working problems like this out, you could always refer back to this. It says you're going to work out what's in parentheses first, exponents next if there are any, multiplication and division as they appear in the expression from left to right, and then finally addition and subtraction as they appear in the expression from left to right. That is to say they're treated as equals. Well, in this case, we do have something in parentheses. We have uh, 3 plus 2, so this is going to be 5 squared minus 3 times 4 all over negative 2 to the third power. So we took care of everything in parentheses. Do we have any exponents? We do. We have 5 squared. 5 squared is the same thing as 5 times 5, which is going to be 25. Uh, we also have negative 2 to the third power. Negative 2 to the third power, since it's in parentheses, is going to look like this. Negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. Uh, negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. Uh, positive 4 times uh, negative 2 is going to be negative 8. So negative 2 to the third power in parentheses is negative 8. And since we've uh, already taken care of everything else, let's go ahead and take care of this multiplication as well. 4 times 3 is 12. All right, so let's go ahead and keep working this out. Um, let's do 25 minus 12 next. And if you can't do that mentally, you can always do it off to the side again. There's going to be no one looking at your scratch paper, so you can write pretty much anything you need on it. 5 minus 2 is going to be 3. 2 minus 1 is 1. So this becomes 13 over negative 8 which is the same thing as negative 13 over 8. So after we evaluate this expression, that's our result. We can see that this one is going to be answer choice B.